Desmond Bonner writes, love the show's Heroes Mailbag Jedi Council and have been watching for almost two years now. My question is about the two boxing movies coming out, Southpaw and Creed. I feel like they are basically the same movie. A boxer has to overcome some obstacle and in the end win slash lose in a climactic fight. Do you think fighter movies are too predictable? Million Dollar Baby kind of broke the mold and a film hasn't been as grand as that in a while for the genre. What do you think will happen to the genre moving forward? Well, here's the thing. If you break it down to just those elements, you're describing 90% of any movies because ultimately any movie is about a character who has to overcome some obstacle, whether the opposition is presented by another human being, whether the opposition is, is provided by circumstance, whether the opposition is provided by environment, whether the opposition is provided by their own weaknesses or limitations. Every movie, or almost every movie, is about somebody faces an obstacle and has to overcome them at the end. Mm -hmm. That's storytelling. It's not just limited to the boxing genre. Um, and to me, I gotta be, be honest with you, like unlike zombie movies, which while I get a kick out of them sometimes, I mean, they all look the same to me personally. But Creed and Southpaw, despite the fact they're about boxers, I gotta be honest with you, the trailers to me make them look like two completely okay. different movies. And I'm excited about both of them for different reasons. So I... Yeah, I mean, if you really want to boil it down to just those essential elements, you're pretty much talking about 75% of the films out there. I don't know, Christian, how do you see it? I agree with you 100%. I think that it, they look like radically different movies to me because, first of all, South Park was kind of is based off like Eminem's life, and that's where, where the whole story came from in the first place, as where Creed, basing it off this franchise, and it's, I wouldn't say a retelling of the Rocky story, but there's definitely similarities so far what we've seen just in the trailer, um, but basing it off th this franchise. But as far as boxing goes... Yeah, you have to. You go by that formula in because the, the, that's what boxing is. It's what it's always been. Even it's even. I watched this great thing on Netflix the other day. I think it was just called The Champs, and it's about like Bernard Hopkins and and Mike Tyson, and there were uh, Evander Holyfield, and I think uh, one other guy. And they just talked about how these guys came up, and they all had these obstacles, but what made them diff different characters and how they handled it. And that's what it is in these trailers. Mm -hmm. You have a guy like Jalen Hall's character, who's who is, who is like a, he is the champ. He is an undefeated champion who's got to go through this tragedy in order to whatever is defend his title. That's where you have Creed, who's this kid who's fighting in the middle of nowhere, has been fighting and then needs some guidance and seeks out Rocky. So it's all about the characters. If you go back to like Raging Bull, um, or you go back to, uh, you, you know, all, all these all these old school movies that were all about boxing, it's about the characters and what the boxing does in general. At least for, the good ones are. The good ones, but even, even the bad ones though. What boxing always does, even as a sport, it tests, you as a person, like anyone who talks about boxing, you see like it, it shows you what you're really made of and that's what these movies do. You're seeing what this character is made of throughout the duration, whether it be an hour and a half, two hours. And that's what makes boxing movies so different is by the characters of the movie. Listen to you talk about boxing. I want to go run 10 miles now. I'm like inspired. <laughs> that was like a Rocky montage right there. I, I want to see both these movies for different reasons, too. I'm looking forward to Southpaw for Jake Gyllenhaal's performance. Maybe it's an Oscar-worthy kind of thing. For Creed, obviously, the lineage, the fact that this takes place in the Rocky universe. You can say anything you want about Avengers or Superman or Batman. We're back in the Rocky universe, kids. Rocky Balboa is going to be in this movie, but from the trailer, it doesn't look like they're going to be leaning on Rocky being in the film to tell a story. This is going to be its own thing. And if you talk about how, oh, you, you keep going these boxing movies and it has to be this climactic fight... Just think about a boxing movie where you get a nice fight in the beginning and then there's just no more fights. Or a street fight, Rocky Five. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, but, but it goes beyond Ooh. that as well. When you look at other combat sports, too, you look at Warrior. One of the things that made Warrior such a great and underrated film yeah. that it is was the characters who relies on that. And I am very excited that now, apparently, that's the one thing I couldn't get out of my head. Watching that Creed trailer, which I liked very much, I didn't seem to like it as much as a lot of other people did yet, but I'm excited for the film. Was that all I could think about is they're launching, oh my, like seriously, oh my God, they're launching a Rocky cinematic universe. They are literally, mm -hmm. next comes the Polly origin story. All right. Hey, oh. woman, the Clubber Lang story. <laughs> uh, like, whatever. What's that robot that Polly had as a birthday happy present? Birthday, happy, happy birthday, Polly. Happy birthday, Polly. It's going to be, you know, that, that robot's adventure. I want to know what happened to Yvonne Drago's character. I think that he probably started training again to be in the Special Forces, ended up in the Expendables, which you're going to oh. see in Expendables 4. Bring it. It's all connected. <laughs>